What is going on guys, Victor here, back with another Tackle Tuesday. Now as you guys see, I have some very long rod tubes here, and we're doing a rod unboxing today. Alright guys, let's begin talking about the rods, but first, I like to be real, I like to be transparent with you guys, and these rods were given to me by my sponsor, Vexen and Tackle Industries. They were free in the sense that I didn't have to pay for them, but at the end of the day, you know, as a YouTuber and as promoting something, you put in work day in and day out, so technically nothing is really free. But I wanted to point two things out for you guys is if you are interested in any of these rods, I hate shoving things down people's throats, but if you are interested in any of these rods, all will be linked in the description box below, as well as you guys can receive 10% off any of these rods by using my code LANDSHARK. This is not a paid promotion. Anyone who's been following the channel for a while knows I've been fishing these rods for a while, and I like them. So let's begin. Number one, I have two matching uh, set of Vexen, whoa, Vexen crappie rods right here. And you guys might be wondering why is Landshark going crappie fishing? Because I want to catch some crappie this winter. I've never crappie fished and I think it would be a very neat experience. Uh, Florida does offer a lot of crappie fishing, especially in the winter. And I think it'd be very neat to do a catch and cook. There are a lot of wildlife areas up north and out west where I could do some crappie fishing and nothing is more fun than fishing two pound test, four pound test and getting tight, hearing your drag scream. So I'm just excited to do that and I kind of want to get out of my comfort zone, do a lot more freshwater fishing, <clears throat> you know, try to target gar, peacocks. And you know, I think that using rods heavier than this is a little bit overkill. So a couple things I like about these rods, I have not fished them yet, just keep that in mind. But this is pretty cool how they did the design right here. They kept a uh, green tip and then the rest of the blank is black. Very, very responsive, um, super light. One thing I will say about Vexen that I like from the rods that I have fished already is they're very well balanced rods. They use quality components. One thing that you can really tell a lot about a rod company is the components they use. Rod guide inserts are one of the first things that will break on a ride, chip, crack, and I really like these guide inserts. They're light, they don't crack, they don't chip. I've never had one fall out, and I really like them. So these are 6.6, two to six pound test. Super stoked to get tight on these, throwing crappie jigs, and just, you know, doing some more freshwater fishing. So those are those two matching rods. Number two, <clears throat> I actually have one of these rods already, and it is this one right here. It is the 7.6 Vexen. It's 10 to 20 pound test. I love this thing. I have fished this, so I can speak for it. Um, this is my go-to rod when I go wade fishing. Oh, excuse me, I don't have this one yet. I have the one line class step down. This one's a little bit heavier, but I really like this, this rod, 7.6. Um, you know, that extra six inches does make a difference between the seven and seven six. You're able to cast a little further, especially when you're doing something like weight fishing or if you're in any type of application where you need an inshore lighter rod, where you don't want to spook fish, get that extra six inches, that extra four inches. It really makes a difference. And yeah, so these Vexen rods, as opposed to the crappie rods, they are, I hope the camera focuses, but these are painted this kind of like purple blue uh, metallic -y color and they look sick. One thing I really like about the components of these rods too as well is the foam grips. This is not your average cheapo depot foam. This is durable foam that looks like it will last four years. They do all use Fuji Real Seats, which is a very reputable brand, probably the best real seat company. And same thing, you got those aluminum oxide inserts. Light, responsive, well-balanced rods. If you guys are looking for inshore rods, that's one thing I want you guys to know about me is, you know, even if you're sponsored by a company and doing a rod uh, unboxing video like this, I never want to be that guy that shoves product down people's throat, shoves products down people's throats. I cannot stand that approach. This is just me showing you guys what I use. Still use my star rods, still use other rod companies, my red bone. Being exclusive in the fishing industry I think is stupid and pointless because there's no one rod reel hook company that can one size fits all. So with that being said, um, if you guys are looking for inshore rods, check them out. Now that was the 7.6. One thing I'm excited about is this 7 foot 10 rod. 
Now, this is 10 to 20, 7, 10, and like I said, that extra four inches really does make a difference. Pier rods, this would be a great, great inshore pier rod. Um, you're able to cast gotchas far, spoons, diamond jigs, bucktails. It's light enough to where you can put anything from a 4,000 to 6,000 size reel. Um, like I said, these rods have a lot of backbone, responsive, light. All of the rods, actually in this video, are all graphite blanks too. And graphite blanks do uh, kind of get a bad rap sometimes as far as it breaking easily. And uh, you know, when you high stick fish, you high stick the tip, it can break easily. But I'll tell you something. These are some of the best graphite rods I have fished. I don't know what type of material they use, but I have abused my rods pretty badly, especially being the land-based angler. I mean, you guys have seen in the permit videos where I just drop in my rod on the concrete and so far, no problems. So that is one thing I really like about these blanks. 710 rod, um, you know, the nice thing about the Vexen series too, these intro rods is, you know, you have everything from 6'6 six, six all the way up to eight foot for these more inshore style rods. So you know, I have something for every line class, every application. Like I said, wade fishing or something where you really need to cast far and not spook fish. Liking this rod a lot, cannot wait to use it. And now, I have two rods that you guys should be very excited about, that I'm very excited about. And the reason why is, I know I have a very big land-based audience, a big, you know, jigging audience, uh, artificial audience, and a big snook, tarpon, that whole deal, redfish, Sebastian Inlet. And people are constantly asking me about uh, snook recommendation rods, jigging rods, bridge rods. Well, you guys have seen me fish the 8.6 Tackle Industries. Tackle Industries is no longer Tackle Industries. It is turned into Vexen. It's the same owner. He just wanted to uh, avoid consumer confusion and he merged it into one brand. Now, we have nine foot Vexen rods. These are the same blanks, whoops, the same blanks that Tackle Industries used, but they got beefed up. They got a sick color. It's the same guides. The, I like the grips more. They're not cork grips anymore. Now they're these fo uh, foam grips. I'd say it's a more comfortable for sure. These rods are badass, guys. Very light, very responsive, very, um, <clears throat> uh, they're rods with a lot of backbone and that you can really put a lot of heat on fish. I've actually caught gators on these blanks right here. I don't know if you guys have watched the, uh, there's an alligator hunting video on my channel we caught a gator on one of them. Um, permit, all sorts of things. Love these rods. I have two nine foot rods. The first one is a nine foot 15 to 30. It's a little bit lighter, perfect for throwing flare hawks, perfect, perfect for throwing spool techs. It's rated one to four ounces, nine feet. You know, there's there was a huge gap in the market for a nine foot lighter, snook, jigging type rod. Guess what? Vexen filled it, 200 bucks, I cannot, find you cannot find a $200 price point production style rod with quality components like this anywhere I guarantee you guys cannot find it you you can look I've been trying and that's one reason I really like this company you guys know I'm not a fancy schmancy guy I fish what works these rods work I like them this is the nine foot this is the lightest of the nine foot class this is the medium heavy but there is one more that I got so these nine foot vexing guys they are offered in medium heavy, extra heavy, and extra, extra heavy spinning. Now this right here is the nine foot 20 to 40. It's a little bit beefier. So if you really, really need to put pressure on fish or you're fishing heavy swim baits, you know, heavy jigs, um, you're throwing big top waters off the beach. One thing I forgot to mention is, I think I picked up a bunch of striper fishermen, uh, a subscriber base from the Northeast. You guys should check these rods out too because I know striper fishing is, all, you know, there's a lot of land-based components to it. And the fact that they offer nine foot rods now, I can tell you firsthand that when I was up there, every, you know, foot made a difference when it, come to when it comes to casting and getting that extra distance really, really, really helps. Um, this rod, I wish I had someone here to demonstrate for you guys, but these rods are stout, you know, they're powerful. They are not flimsy rods, but if you need a little bit more sensitivity, you could go with the medium heavy. This is an extra heavy. Very, very sick rods. I like them a lot. Like I said, guys, all of these rods will be in the description box below. And if you'd like to, you can save 10% by using my coupon code LANDSHARK. None of that goes to me. It's just a way for 
the sponsor and the sponsoree to track traffic, make sure that you guys are in a beneficial relationship. And yeah, so if you guys want to see more rod unboxings, more real unboxings, reviews, make sure to leave a comment below. I've never done a video like this, so I don't know how it's going to be received, but I think you guys will like it. And I'll be seeing all you guys, my land sharks, in that next Tackle Tuesday and in that next video.